What's up, guys? Master Yoga here. Welcome back to the Kingdom. I am your host, as always. Uh, yeah, weird to see me in front of the camera now. Um, so, uh, I went to Logos today with my best friend, Sam. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, uh, he's the one that got first place. I got second uh, with Invoked Dogmatica. Now, uh, I, last week I got fourth. I know there's a few things I needed to tune up, like uh, with Sam in his list. So, uh, that's what I did. And it worked really well. Um, kind of outplayed a few people, so which was good. I played against... First round was Pet Magicians 2-0. Uh, round 2 was Sky Strikers 2-1. And then, of course, 1-2 uh, with Infernoid. So. Uh, the deck's really good. It's really solid. Uh, I liked how my, my different choices actually did a lot, like, made a lot of the of that difference. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it, Sam. All right. All right, so first half, uh, first part, we're going to go Dogmatica. So I played three Ecclesia. Uh, for you, all of you don't know, uh, if there's an extra monster on the field, which is no more special, uh, or when she was an extra monster on the field, you reveal a specialer, and upon normal or special, you can add a Dogmatica card from your deck to your hand. Uh, you just can't enter your, or go to your extra deck that turn. Uh, next is two uh, Floor Delete. Uh, so I, I some builds play one. I play two just for added backup because either one. If I send uh, Titan Cloud one, uh, it's an added backup uh, for next turn. That way, if I use one for OTK, the second one's right there, right behind. So uh, right behind there. So uh, and then uh, one Maximus. It, it did help out, except with Sam because he was playing Infernoid, and I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, no, not getting free advantage off that. So uh, that's it for the Dogmaticas. I was trying to add the uh, level 7 Ash Ashian, but it's not good in this one. Uh, the heart and soul of this whole entire deck. Yes, I am Alistair. I will challenge Slim. Uh, no problem. <laughs> Shout out. If you guys want to make that real, we'll do it. Um, but upon uh, normal summon, add invocation, normal flipped. And then during uh, you can discard him to give a fusion monster 1,000 extra attack. So that came up quite a bit. And now the hand trap, hand trap lineup is a little, a little weird because uh, I took uh, some traps out to actually add hand traps. So two Phantasmae. Uh, two was perfect. I was debating whether to play three. I didn't. Two came up. I saw it just at the right moments. Everything. It was just, it was perfect. I know one against Sam. Uh, he chewed off my guy to do something. I negated. He went to Link Crabo. I played Phantasmae. And he's like, well, shit. So yeah. So it did help out sculpt my hand a bit. Uh, next up, we had, of course, three Ash. Three Ash is just a mainstay staple. Like, it, you can't go wrong. I, against, um, Sky Strikers during game three, I normally summon Ash. He's like, what? Linked away into Almirage, and then special summon Floor to Lee. And that way I had an extra body on board with, um, uh, Dogmatica as well. So that way if he goes to destroy, I can just tribute my uh, Almirage to save it. So, save, uh, card. Uh, and then one package I never really thought I would be playing again, but I, actually I'm starting to like it more and more now that I play test going second. Because uh, there are a lot of times I'm just like, I, I play good hand traps, go ahead and go second. I'll break, I'll break your board if need be. But, yeah, but it's Gamma. Uh, Gamma's good. I did see Driver in one of my games, I think, in one of my matches, I think twice in, in those games. But other than that, uh, and, and again, Sam, I had two of this, two something else, and one other. I'm like, oh. Oh, it was a two Imperm and two Gamma and something else. I was like, oh. This could have been a starter. <laughs> and that uh, spells two invocation. Uh, not much to say. Um, go from our graveyard. Your opponent's graveyard is yours now. So our graveyard. Uh, terraforming with three meltdown. Always. Uh, if you 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 know you're cheating as an invoke player if you don't open any combination of inv uh, invocation meltdown or terraforming or Alistair. If you don't open two of them. You're cheating because you know good invo invoke players open at least two. Uh, for the one of Call By and Duster, uh, uh, Call By didn't really see it. I'm not talking about it, but this, oh my god, against uh, um, uh, was it Sky Striker? I was like, he sets three, or you know, he has sets two and had area zero. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna top deck him. Uh, uh, Feather Duster, he goes, all right. I draw and I just slam that shit down. I'd even, I'd even go battle phase or like main phase two or one or whatever it is. I, I'd even do that. I just slide down. He goes like, all right. And then I had it in hand. I'm like, oh, why am I so good? Plopped it down. He's like, oh, that was like game one and game two. And then uh, to add insurance, two Cosmics. Uh, sorry about the mismatch already, but yeah. Um, I want to play two Cosmics so I can hit stuff. And it did come in handy with uh, 
with the Sky Striker player because he had Widow Anchor, Widow Anchor, and Eagle Booster. So he uh, Widow Anchor two, and I'm like, all right, Cosmic Cyclone, your last one. He goes, oh, all right. So well, that's two evils. Uh, other spells I played through Droplet. This actually does come up quite a bit. I love Droplet more than Tactics, <laughs> only because like your uh, Alistair can get impermed, Valored, uh, whatever, trying to get negate. That doesn't follow. You just this, get rid of it as cost, and then negate a monster on your side, your opponent's side, and then still add invocation. So it, it's really good. And plus, in damage step, too, I got a, caught uh, the Sky Striker player off guard twice. Because the other one, I had a, one R already on field as an opener. Then after two turns, I drew into the second one, and then it just, I, I said it. I, like, I didn't commit as much as I thought I would. So I just committed one, got that surprise. Two turns later, got the next surprise. He goes, oh, I wasn't expecting that. I'm like, of course. Yeah, because he just sat back. He's like, I. And then the, one of the best spells of the deck is Triple Nidhi or Servant. Uh, against Sam, like, if I wasn't going to get OTK or get killed in game three, this would have been my top deck. Oh, beautiful. But uh, he ended up shuffling, and then I saw my top deck. It was Ash, so I was like, I couldn't do anything. But I wasn't surviving anyway, so it doesn't matter. But still, this is a great starter. Like, I had I normal summoned uh, Reclusia. Uh, the Sky Striker player ashed it, and I'm like, all right. And the dude me goes, well, I guess you're good. And I'm like, yeah, I am. <laughs> that's why That's why you hold on to it. Uh, for traps, uh, one Chism, all you need to play. Uh, I was going to play uh, one Aerial, but I forgot to add it. But I guess I didn't need it since I got second. But I was, I'll probably still add it just for the extra target. Uh, two punishment. I was running uh, ju two judgment, but I took those out because it's they don't really do anything besides strikes. But I can't find my strikes, so uh, two's good. I always uh, end up signing out one of the punishments during game two and three, depending on if I'm going first or second. And then the last trap is impermanence because it's pretty good. So uh, being able to negate stuff on your opponent's turn and just like when you open it, go negate one, negate two, and go and play because you're on a few starters. So. Uh, extra deck wise, uh, for revoked, uh, two Makaba, one Purgatrio, one Agoides. Uh, I'm not sure how I like, I like these. I'm not sure how I like this. It kind of came up once when I summoned it and, uh, destroyed a card, destroyed a monster on the field. Other than that, it was alright. Purgatrio is one of the, like, my favorite, like, I think Purgatrio is better than Makaba, but that's just, one's in the gate, one's tax all monsters, does piercing, and then gains 200 for each card on the field, on your opponent's side of the field, so... It's just, it's unexpected, and they're like, oh, ram into this, ram into this, and yeah. <laughs> uh, for targets for Dogmatica, uh, Titanclad, two Entis. Uh, I thought about cutting this down to one, but maybe that's wrong. Uh, these are always just good in general for, like, a Gordies and banishing them, since they are considered fusions, obviously. Uh, sure, should all line up, uh, Winda, Construct, Apcolone. Uh, I did miss a second Winda today, but... Uh, I didn't want to be bad and play two window, one construct, one app clone, so. Eh. It, it's there. Uh, Omega for the Gamma package, if anything, or just to send something free off of uh, Maximus and then return something back to the deck, to the deck so it just recycles so you don't uh, run out of resources. Uh, Al Mirage for Lynx, uh, Secure Gardena, uh, the Cerberus, because last week I couldn't out my own Nibiru token, so I figured I would do it again, but. Me and the Dino player never faced off, thankfully. And yeah, that's pretty much all I added. I took out um, Wind Pegasus adding this year. Thought that would be good. And the boss card of the deck, uh, BLS Soldier Link. This is getting a Ghost Rare. But yeah, I like the Secret because I like Secrets more. But Ghost is pretty cool too. So yeah, that's just the Big Daddy BLS. Just a not targeting, non targeting, non destructible stuff. You can just punch over and deal damage or shit. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, I don't think I, I... I had a chance of going into it, but there's optimal, more optimal plays. Um, for a side deck, Triple Lancia, uh, Infernoids, obviously, but yeah. I never saw it, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, thankfully. Yeah, thankfully, I decided. Um, triple Nibiru, never never went into it because none of my opponents were going to be summoning. I, I did put it in against the Pendulums, but I never saw it. I did see another card in here. Uh, I cited two Tactics because I only have two. I need a third... Um, for now, I'm just running two, because it's all right. Um, yeah, not much to say. It's going second. If opponent goes negate, you can steal something, or draw two, or rip a card out, so. 
Uh, three Dark Ruler, no more. I added this in that last minute. Uh, I did see it against the Pendulum matchup, but I already... Uh, I think he would, the demon make a good enough board, or I just, like, I he made me go for it, so I was like, oh, this is a dead card, so. Uh, the one red reboot, because I didn't want to get Torrential Tributed. I was scared of that, because I've been Torrential Tributed twice, and I'm like, ah, no, screw off. And then the one card that did come in handy mo um, most of the time today was D-Barrier. <laughs> I will advocate for this card. It's a really good card. Uh, Call Fusion. If, like, the Inferno matchup, you have an extra deck monster on the field that is Fusion, unfortunately, it would be me. But if I had, like, a Link or something, Call Fusion, they can't um, do their spell. So, for that turn, which is good. Um, <laughs> what else? Pen uh, pendulums, too. Which I didn't cite it for some... Well, I didn't cite it because I didn't want to... Uh, I didn't know. I thought he was going to go first to make his board. But he offered me to go first. So I was like, oh, okay. Uh, I miss, miss cited, but that's whatever. Um, all in all, this deck really ran good. I, I, I loved it. Uh, hopefully, uh, I can play uh, use this more in the future and kind of maybe mix it a little thing. Like, take a, change a few things, I'm trying to say. And uh, make it a little better. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, subscribe. And hopefully everything goes well, and have a good day.